Remember when Ronaldo replaced a Coke on his table with water? Well, many may think all footballers don't drink or smoke like Ronaldo but that's a big lie because, there are footballers who actually don't care about these things, and go for what they love and still do well in the game of soccer. Today, we will be looking at, famous footballers who smokes in real life, while playing for their club and country. This should be noted that managers and banned substances, are exclusive of these below mentioned players. On the number one spot today, we talk about Raja Nangolan, you all know how rugged Nangolan is and does not really care of people's thought about him and such, he smokes, drinks and has never hidden from anyone, provided it's legal. Did you know that, back at AS Roma, Nangolan goes to smoke with his assistant manager, while his teammates were, in the dressing talking about games. You know that during his prime, he played so well. When asked about it, he replied, I know that I should set a good example, I have kids, but I am just a footballer, I have to do my job. Everyone knows that I smoke and I can't hide it, but I am not ashamed. Number 2 goes to Mark Overity. This dude in 2019, was seen drinking smoking and partying all night during Neymar's birthday party, with a game the next day with Manchester United back in 2019, the shocking thing is that, Verdi made the best touches and passes in that particular match which surprised even his coach. I guess he has a filter heart. Now, let's talk about Mario Balotelli, you already knows Balotelli is that one guy who doesn't care, a bit what the fans, manager and media talk about him. Did you know he got fined for smoking on a train and also when he was at Liverpool? It was AC Milan that reduced his smoking spirit. It was included in the signing deal for Balotelli not to smoke and drink. When he left Milan, he immediately returned to the habit but, you know, Mario is Mario for life, he cares less. Let's move to Johan Cruyff. The legend is a hard smoker but has won everything as both player and coach. He has three Ballon d'Or, four European Cup, 13 league titles, FIFA player of the tournament, one if the greatest manager for both Barca and Ajax but, never for once did Cruyff stop smoking cigarette. Reports has it that, he smokes 20 sticks daily as a polyer and, 40 sticks as a manager. Well, he did a heart surgery in 1991 due to excess smoke in his system. Fabien Barthez is another player who smokes a lot. A famous French goalie who enjoys smoking and retired in 2006, when he joined Manchester United, his smoking got worse and took the media attention. When the media asked Sir Alex Ferguson, the legendary manager said he didn't care, provided he plays smoothly to his demands and, that he prefers a smoking player to a drinking player. Sit up as I shock you. Did you know that Wayne Rooney is also a deep smoker, as a teen Rooney was famous for other things other than, the football he played, like fighting in club, dry ninking, and driver, dealing in prostitution, Rooney also smoked a lot and the England fans didn't like him for this. Rooney over the years, had to bear the insults poured by the media and fans for his smoking but, he was still their best on the field. Another famous English footballer who smokes is Jack Wills here, he confirmed that he smokes himself in an interview, after he was caught on camera and posted on the English papers, Wisher didn't care much about the media and the people, he cared about what his manager, Arsene Winger would say when he founds out, well, the coach didn't care, Winger replied by saying, he likes smoking too. Wojciech Zaczesny made his coach very angry when caught smoking and it was by the same, Arsene Winger who supported Will Sayer. well, what went wrong, after Arsenal lost to Southampton, Wojciech went to the corner of the dress room to pop some smoke and someone saw him and reported to the manager. He was fined and dropped from the first team and that was his last game for Arsenal. He now keeps for Juventus. Let's take the soak line to Ashley Cole of Chelsea, men, he loves smoking but as you remember, he stands as one of the best left backs in football history, well, one of the reasons Mourinho allowed him go back in 2014, was because Cole was a chain smoker and Mourinho hated smoking. He left at 33 years old only, and finally we have Buff on the keeper, 
the legend is also a legend in smoking and doesn't hide it a bit. And so we end today with the players who smokes and still plays good football. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more tip.